it's hard, you know, like I say, sometimes we'll see some of one of the families at different events and you try not to be, you try to be normal. If, but like I say, it's truly not. There's a lot of guilt because uh, my daughter was the same age as a lot of the kids. You know, she had friends from the previous kindergarten year. She had Daisy Scout friends. There are younger siblings and my son's friends. It's very hard to kind of, because there is no normal anymore. One of the people up the street had lost somebody and whenever, whenever I drive by the house, I think about that. Like you think about when you go into your bedroom every night with the toys and how, I'm going home with two kids and this person has one empty room in that house. And it still weighs, it weighs on me. You know, another friend of ours had a son who escaped when the shooter dropped his clip and fumbled and he was able to run out and leave. I mean, these are, and these are people right around the corner who we see. And it's just, it's like I say, normal isn't normal anymore, but you try to find a way to get involved you know, as many letters as you can write, as many phone calls as you can make, you've just got to keep a conversation going because you can't forget about it. It's not okay. I mean, we're, we, we're okay as we speak, but in general, things are not okay.